Hello guys, welcome to PW Skills Stack. In this video, we are going to discuss about the entire roadmap to become a data analyst in 2023. Data analyst is an amazing and high paying job profile and is suitable for everyone. Whether you are a fresher, whether you are an experienced professional, and even though you are coming from non-tech or non-programming background, if you really want to make a transition into the analytics industry and solve some amazing business use cases, then this job profile is specifically for you. So without wasting any time, let's go ahead and see the entire roadmap step by step to become a data analyst. To start with in this specific roadmap, you need to start with a programming language. And the programming language that I would prefer for a data analyst will be Python programming language or R programming language. Now, when I say programming language, you should at least give around 15 to 20 days to cover up this programming language only from basics to intermediate level. That basically means you need to learn Python, you need to cover some of the important data structures such as strings, dictionaries, lists, tuples, sets, and some of the important libraries like NumPy, Pandas, and some of the visualization libraries like Seaborn and Matplotlib. Through this, you will be able to perform exploratory data analysis of the specific data and you will be able to retrieve the information from that specific data. Again, if you ask me whether I should be going ahead with Python or R, it is up to you. Both the programming language is powerful and it will actually help you with various libraries and tools and packages to explore the data, analyze the data and retrieve some important information from that specific data. These libraries will also help you in one of the very important modules in the data analytics project that is specifically called as feature engineering wherein the entire focus is on cleaning the raw data, handling outliers, handling missing values, handling the categorical variables, using the right kind of diagrams and visualization charts for that specific kind of data so that you'll be able to create amazing reports and send it to the stakeholder, which will be important for making meaningful business decisions. The next thing that you really need to focus in this roadmap is about databases. And the most commonly used database by a data analyst is SQL database. You need to be a pro in working with database, wherein you should be able to know that how you can handle millions and millions of records, how you can write a complex queries to retrieve that meaningful information from the database itself. Working with databases can be a very important skill when you're working in a large scale projects. And this skill set is required everywhere as a data analyst. Even in many interviews of a data analyst, the first round that they usually take is something related to SQL, where they give you a problem statement and you really need to write some queries related to SQL itself. So if you are a pro in this, Trust me, clearing every interview becomes very, very much easy because after clearing that first round, all you really need to explain more about is your projects that you have specifically done. The next important skill set that we really need to focus in this roadmap is about statistics. Now, statistics provides you all the tools and techniques along with some mathematical intuition, which will actually help you to retrieve meaningful information from the data itself. In statistics, we really need to focus on two types. One is descriptive statistics and the other one is inferential statistics. The main aim of the descriptive statistics is to summarize the data. So in short, we will be using some important techniques to see the distribution of the data, we'll be learning about probability density function, cumulative density function, and some of the important visualization charts such as bar chart, histogram, pie chart, and many more. At the end of the day, by using these techniques, we will be able to retrieve some important information and we will also be able to summarize the data in a way so that we will be able to understand the business use cases. In inferential statistics, we perform a lot of statistical analysis wherein we take a sample of data to make a conclusion about the population data. So techniques such as hypothesis testing, z-test, t-test, chi-square test, ANOVA test, f-test, this kind of statistical analysis is basically done to make some amazing conclusion about the population data. The next skill set that you really need to focus is about the business intelligence tool. There are two popular business intelligence tools that is being used widely in many, many industries that is Power BI and Tableau. You can select either one of them. 
But understand one thing is that at the end of the day, with the help of this specific tools, you are creating some amazing reports, which will be having a lot of conclusions since you are including statistical concepts within them. And those reports will be forwarded to the stakeholders. The stakeholder will use these reports along with the conclusions that are made by the data analyst to make some important business decisions. In short, these reports will be deriving the entire business plan of a specific company and how their growth will be in the future with respect to various regions. Along with this roadmap, I would also suggest you to have this two skill set. One is working with Excel. Since you're working with huge amount of data, working with Excel can automate many of your tasks. And the second one is having a good communication skill. Since in a data analytics project, you need to have a lot of communications with various stakeholders. So having a good communication skill will actually help you to portray your thoughts, your domain knowledge, which in turn will actually create an amazing bonding within the team, which in turn will actually help you to solve the business use cases. So guys, this was the entire roadmap step by step to probably become a data analyst in 2023. I hope you like this specific video. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day ahead. Thank you one doll. Take care. Bye bye.